Hey guys and welcome to a new series I'll be starting, which will be uh, how to do stuff in Giants Editor when it comes to mapping. I won't be doing anything to do with editing tractors or anything like that, it will be just mapping as that's what I do. So I've loaded up the uh, standard Goldcrest Valley here, out with the uh, Giants file files. And uh, I'm going to show you how to import, export and create transform groups in this video. So, say you want something for your mod map or to put on an existing map that you want to edit. You select something. I selected this rock here. And uh, you go to File, Export Selection with Files. Make sure it's on uh, your target path is correct for where you want it. I mean, if you go back to where you load your map, map 01, create another folder in there. Don't know whether other people do it different ways, this is how I do it. I've called mine items, you can call yours what you want. So make sure you've got that selected and then call it so you know what it will be when you get to your map. Save. And then you want to say yes to save in the parent directory structure so it takes the textures with it. So if we pop over to a mod map, then uh, up here on the top, import i3d file. So it's a piece of paper with a folder corner and a plus sign on it. You click on that, or alternatively you can go into file and do it that way. Select your item which you wanted to import, go open, and just a little tip here, control B will bring it to wherever you click your mouse. So, there it is. Now, rather than filling up your scene graph, like if you were going to lay loads of these, <coughs> rather than laying 20 of them and it filling up the whole scene graph here, you go create, transform group, and then you'll see it pop up down the bottom there. So if you click on transform and then if you've got your attributes window loaded select on the name change it to what you want it to be and click off of it and it will save it as that name so now you want to select your rock go edit cut select the rocks transform group edit and paste and there you go, it's appeared inside of that transform group. So now if you duplicate, it all stays in there. And you can minimize it, keeps it all nice and tidy. Uh, a few little tips for you here. Control D will duplicate it. And then obviously at a said Control B, you can put it where you want to. You can use that, move it anywhere, you can for however you however you want it. So, I think that will do for this video. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.